1987 and remains one of the most horror classic films uh, ever made. It's one of the goriest films ever made and also one of the most classical films ever made. It took horror to the next level, shall we say, and uh, remains one of the goriest films ever made but also one of the scariest and one of the most original films ever made. Uh, nothing has come close to uh, Hellraiser's uh, goriness or originality. Um, I, I enjoy Hellraiser. I think it's a fantastic film. It's one of my favorite horror films of all time. And I think it is one of the best horror films of all time. Um, Doug Bradley uh, was Hellraiser in all the Hellraiser movies. Starting from 1987 and uh, there on, he played Pinhead. So if you uh, have never heard of Doug Ram, he's a fantastic actor. And uh, in the original Hellraiser, they had uh, Ashley Lawrence, who was a fantastic actress, who played uh, Christy. And she, her character was totally kick-ass. So right here I have the Hellraiser box set, which comes with Hellraiser on Blu-ray, comes with Hellraiser on DVD. And it comes with Hellraiser 2 on DVD. Let's check this out. This is awesome. So yeah. Now I'm going to talk about the Hellraiser series. So Hellraiser, the first Hellraiser is of course an epic masterpiece. One of the best horror films ever made. So let's get on to what I think of Hellraiser. If I was to rate Hellraiser, the film, out of 10, I would give it a 10 out of 10. Um, and I would give the Blu-ray a 10 out of 10. It looks amazing on Blu-ray. I got it on DVD, and I thought the DVD actually looked really good for a DVD. And then I said, well, you know, i got to get this on Blu-ray. This is a fantastic film. So I went out there, and I purchased the Blu-ray. Fantastic Blu-ray. One of the best Blu-rays in my Blu-ray collection. Of course, I had to go all out and get the Hellraiser box because that's just totally awesome. And I've become a, a fan of the Hellraiser series. So, here we go. And then, you know, we got the sequels. I mean, there's Hellraiser 2, of course, which I have in my uh, box right here. And Hellraiser 2 is a fantastic sequel. I read it 10 out of 10 now. When it came out, a lot of critics didn't like it. No, Siskel and Ebert. Personally, I I think that uh, Siskel and Ebert are pretty weird because when you look back at uh, Ebert's opinions on horror films, he says that horror films are you know just gory, uh, too gory. You know, if a horror if a horror, if a horror film was too gory, uh, Ebert basically didn't like it. And then you look at his reviews now, and he's saying like Devil's Rejects is a masterpiece. And it's one of the most gory films ever, you know, I've ever seen. And here he is talking about Hellraiser 2, saying it's too gory. Isn't that ironic? I mean, I know that people's opinions change as they get older, but that's just... I think he was just going with the time. Basically, people didn't like gory films back in 1987. Now people love gory horror films. So I think that, you know, Eber is a hypocrite because he originally he didn't like those type of horror films. And then, uh, finally, he, you know, he ends up liking them. I mean, he liked a couple of gory horror films. But basically, you know, he he didn't get the whole Hellraiser franchise. And I found, I was just mad about that, you know. And I think Hellraiser is a, Hellraiser is a fantastic series. And I think everyone out there should go check it out. It is worth checking out. It's a great film. If I was to rate Hellraiser 2 out of 10, I would give it a 10 out of 10. And the DVD actually looks really good. And I probably rate the DVD a 8 out of 10. The quality is actually pretty good. So now on to um, Hellraiser 3. Uh, Hellraiser 3 was a big letdown for me. I, I did not like Hellraiser 3. I thought I was going to like it. I liked the title, like Hellraiser, you know, Hell on Earth. I, I sat down and I was like, this film's going to be awesome. I can't wait to see it. And, you know, I finally saw it. It was really hard to get, by the way had to order it on eBay for some reason it's not that available in Canada but I finally got it and I watched it and I did not like it it was a letdown for me so if I was to rate Hellraiser 3 out of 10 I'd probably give it a 4 out of 10 I mean the special effects are just okay 
and the story's not that good. But then we got Hellraiser Bloodline, which I really liked, and I'm really glad that I did purchase it on uh, Blu-ray, because the Blu-ray quality is way better than DVD uh, quality, and it's really good, by the way. And uh, the DVD quality is not that good, actually. So if I was to rate um, Hellraiser Bloodline, the Blu-ray, I would give it a 10 out of 10 for the quality, a 10 out of 10 for the movie, one, probably one of my favorite sequels. So I would say Hellraiser 1, 2, and Bloodline are the best out of the series. But then we get on to Hellraiser Inferno, uh, which I thought was just horrible. It, it felt like I was watching a TV series, not a movie. It felt like I was watching a really bad horror, you know, episode of a crappy TV series, basically. And it was not good. Hellraiser's barely in the, you know, well, Penhead's barely in the movie, and it does not feel like a Hellraiser movie. There, I mean, it's just a horrible film. I hate Hellraiser Inferno. It's one of my all time. I think it's one of the worst films ever. So I'm, I'm, I'd probably give it a 1 out of 10 just because Doug Bramley's in it. You know, I just respect him. So I'll give him a 1, you know, for being in this film. Because he's a great actor, you know. He does the best that he can in this situation. And then we get on to Hellraiser um, Hellseeker. Which is another uh, terrible film, by the way. It is really, really bad. And Christy doesn't even feel like the same character from Hellraiser 1 and 2. She, like, th her character in Hellraiser Seek Hell Hellraiser Hellseeker is just so horrible that there's no connection between the two first films. And that's one of the worst letdowns ever. And she's barely in the film. And even the parts that she's in is not well written. So you do not feel anything for Christy in this film. You feel something in 1 and 2, but you do not feel anything in Hellraiser's, Hellraiser Hellseeker. And it's truly one of the worst Hellraiser movies ever made. Now, uh, what would I rate Hellraiser Hellseeker? Well, to me, it was a complete waste of time. Uh, the, the gore effects in it were not that good. Um, it's actually worse than Hellraiser Inferno. And that's saying a lot, because I hate Hellraiser Inferno. So if I was to rate Hellraiser Hellseeker out of 10, I would give it a 0. And that's pretty mean, actually. Um, I mean, Doug Branley's in it, but he's barely in the movie. I mean, he's barely in the movie. Like, he's... And it's just... It's a terrible film. It's it's horrible. D d I wouldn't even say even watch it, you know. It's just really bad. So a zero out of ten for Hellraiser Hellseeker, and then we get on to the final Hellraiser movie. Hell Re Hellraiser Hell World. Uh, this film is really bad. It feels like a Final Destination film, and. Hellraiser and Final Destination do not work together. So it's kind of like it feels like a, like it feels like they took the teenagers from Final Destination and put them in this film and it's really terrible. It's really horrible film. The acting's not that great. The story's not that great. And I like Final Destination 1 too, but you know, after that it got went kind of downhill for me and that's kind of what it feels like in this movie. So, if I was to say what my favorite Hellraiser movies are, I would say 1, 2, and Bloodline. And, you know, that's my review. And I uh, hope you guys enjoyed it. And my opinion, if I was to rate Hellraiser Hellworld, I would probably give it a 2 out of 10. Uh, I really hated Hellraiser Dead Earth. I would give that a 0 out of 10, too. But anyways, Hellraiser 1, 2, and Bloodline are the best. So check this out. Here's all the